Welcome to Crank It Up. I'm Eric, and today we're going to be going over the new character sheets that will be released later this year by 5th Epoch. Now, let's take a look at what they have in beta so far. So here we have a man, uh, I've named him Bob. Uh, he's a 25 year old commoner. Um, and let's take a look. Uh, we have primary attributes. They've made it much larger and easier to see. These are considered smart sheets. So when you click on these and change the number, uh, it should, if you change it high enough, change the percentage, which will also change the uh, results over here as well, um, the secondary attributes. You have a uh, lovely male, female, um, and if you take off the custom portrait, you can see that it has default images, uh, And but you can always put your custom in here for your own custom art. If you find you put it in there, it'll look beautiful. Uh, and you have your skills on the front page uh, this time. Uh, it's lovely. It has all the stats. It does it automatically for you. Uh, and further down here, does your hit points as well. And then you can type in whatever uh, effects you have, either it be bleeding or, you know, unfortunately the runs if you have uh, gastro issues. And down here, which is one of the coolest aspects, is the movement. Now, with the movement, you have uh, casual, travel, and combat. Now, combat will be items that you would just use in straight combat, travels, your traveling gear, and casual is kind of, you know, whatever you want it to be. Uh, some other mixture of the, of the two. Now you have uh, over here your knockdown, which is calculated based off your weight. So these here are always constantly changing depending on what you have and what you pick up. And that is changed down here in your possessions. You can type in what you have and which ones you want it to be calculated in casual, travel, or combat. And then, of course, you can change the weight. So if that's 50 pounds, you come back up here, and it changes the weight, which also changes your movement ratios for your initiatives, which is really quick and easy and lovely. Uh, down here, um, I'm gonna go over to one of the other characters. Um, this is an older version. You can see the front page is a little bit laid out differently, but the second page which has the melee, just like the current version that they have testing. Um, it has all the stuff filled out, you know, weapons, longsword, attack numbers, all this stuff. Uh, it even has the thrown weapons, unarmed, and it has, uh, this is where it'll be, the weight is different on the other ones. Uh, but it's very much like the other system, uh, other for the front page of the, um, the old versions, or the current versions. And down here you have resources. Here would be kind of like your regions, your your middle kingdoms, your different uh, yarls or um, that's that guy room, I guess. Different you know fives underneath it and their rating. Um, I don't know what exactly they have planned for their rating system. I mean, I'm sure you could be like, hey, uh, kind of like you know the different proficiency levels. You could have different you know level of hostility and pleasantness with the kingdom. Although I think personally I would use something more like, uh, you know, bandit or something, you know, or uh, noble, you know, whatever your rank is, you know, if you're a guildsman or something. Something that kind of gives you an idea of what your class is, if you're wanted there or if you're okay there, you know, maybe even just friendly. Now, whatever their attitude is towards you. Now, he might have a, a number system for that, but I think a rating system like this here would be good. Uh, and you can do the same thing over here. And that's what this is for. Uh, total weight carried, this shows automatically the different weights. If you change or add something, you can see that it changes it down here um, for the weight. <clears throat> and the combat, of course, will change the initiative and the movement ratio. And coins, um, I wasn't really too impressed with the coins. I'd rather have been more of, uh, you know, copper, bronze, silver, gold, 
and uh, a kind of a table. And then maybe then you could have like on person owned so that you don't have to carry all your money with you at one time. But then that money can be calculated in your weight uh, for your combat. You know, if you have money, if you want to be really particular about weight in the system, then you could do that. But here you just have to type in, you know, like, so what if I have, you know, one gold and suddenly, you know, four copper. Fortunately, it does slowly get smaller in size, but you're going to have to go through and keep changing these. If it was on a table, it would be very easy to change. Um, down here, evocation points. I'm going to go to another one that had it actually filled out. Uh, this here would be how many you currently have. You would probably just leave that blank and just write it in with pencil. As you play, you have our symbolism. Uh, this is quite lovely. This is, I think, kind of like the Journeyman's book. They have it. Uh, they have all the components. Um, actually, I don't think they have the components in the uh, Journeyman's book, but this is nice. You can see what elements are needed. Uh, you might want to also include, you know, is this a concentration spell or uh, is this something that... Uh, you know, obviously this is a, a symbol, so you know it can be broken if the symbol is ever damaged. Uh, but yeah, it has explanation of what the effects would do, and that's uh, lovely. It saves you from having to look in and try to read the go to the book, which it has a book number in case you do need a reference to that. Uh, and then, lastly, it has a people, places, and things, kind of like a little journal notebook place. Uh, and one element that I do like and some people may not like is that you know the weapons you put in and you kind of get the specs for it some people like this be auto calculated however I like to give my players unique weapons and unique items and so having it auto calculate uh, would be nice but it would have to have the ability to make custom items or the option to make custom items as well uh, in order to facilitate the kind of play that I do with my players. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like. you probably seen a quick little snapshot in the Kickstarter video last year, but this is what it looks like. Uh, it has this cool little thing. You look at the background, you can toggle the background and you find it too distracting. Or if you want to save on printer ink, you can just have the extra flare if you want, but you don't have to and that would take it off across the entire background. But yeah, that's just a quick little snippet of what you can look forward to. And this is actually, that's the older version. This is the new version. It does the same thing right up here. And yeah, it's quite lovely. I like the extra flare on the background. They have uh, some little color text down here just to give it an extra little flavor. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. And I really look forward to when they flush it out and completely have all the calculations in there because you know you can change the stature, but it doesn't change it up here in the height and weight. Um, now, it doesn't necessarily mean height and weight should be automatically tethered to stature because you could always add on more weight uh, without adding on more height and changing your stature number. So it might be good that they don't have it uh, locked into your height and weight. But yeah, this is uh, what they have. It's nice that they have the skills on the front page. I personally don't like how it's just like base and attribute. Uh, I have a very in-depth system where I have the skill, the base skill, uh, the modifier from the attribute, racial mods, other mods such as synergies or items, and then the total is there for the player's uh, use. And then, of course, their critical range at that point for a quick, easy reference. Uh, and then, you know, they can put on little tick marks here for their SCP that they enter, they've earned this month. And, of course, their total saved SCPs uh, from previous months. So just a nice little way to keep track of all their experience and skills and really see where their values are coming from. Uh, because base and, uh, yeah, base and racial mods are what I use for synergies and determine synergies. And that'll be something that I will be covering on later. So um, until next time, uh, this is it. And I hope you enjoy this video. Let's shut it down.